We have all been shocked by pictures of oil snakes polluting our seas and beaches and killing seabirds and wildlife. Yet oil needs to be transported in massive quantities along our coasts and oil spills are always going to be a risk. The question is, how will Europe be able to respond to the next major oil spill that hits its shores? This is where the European Maritime Safety Agency steps in. EMSA provides a network of ships to help member states boost their ability to respond to oil spills. In the last decade, Europe has learned lessons from previous oil spills. EMSA was set up in 2002, shortly after the Erika oil spill off the coast of France in 1999 and the Prestige oil spill off the coast of Spain in 2002. These accidents caused enormous damage to fisheries and coastlines and showed that oil spill response capacity in Europe needed to be improved in five key areas. One, mobilization time. Getting oil recovery vessels to the oil spill took a long time. Europe needed to mobilize vessels more quickly. Two, tank heating and decanting systems. Europe's oil recovery vessels needed proper discharging equipment, such as tank heating and pumping capacities. 3. Oil recovery equipment. Many recovery vessels were not properly equipped. Some lacked sweeping arms or did not carry detection systems to enable them to find oil slicks at night. 4. Storage capacity. Vessels were filling up quickly. Time was lost as ships traveled to and from discharging facilities. 5. Discharging facilities. There were not enough facilities available to receive the recovered oil. EMSA's network of oil spill response vessels takes the first four of these issues into account. The fifth, appropriate discharging facilities, remains a critical issue. EMSA has limited influence in this area. EMSA's vessel network now consists of 19 ships. The network covers most European sea areas. Since 2005, ships have been made available as a top-up resource to member states in the event of a major oil spill. So how does the network operate? EMSA runs tenders and signs contracts with commercial vessel operators. These public-private partnerships are the most cost-efficient way to keep ships constantly available at short notice. After pre-fitting with oil response equipment, the ships carry out their normal commercial activities and they remain on standby until they are requested by a member state. Once a request is made, the ships are quickly mobilized for oil recovery operations. EMSA's ships are fitted with state-of-the-art equipment and are ready to sail within 24 hours. They are able to sail quickly to the spill site and have high storage capacity. During an incident, vessels collect oil at sea, sail to a discharge facility to offload the oil, then sail back to the spill site to start cleaning up oil again. Due to their large size, use of EMSA's vessels is limited when the spill occurs very close to the shore, but under most oil spill conditions, EMSA's vessels will have a significant impact on the oil spill recovery process. In 2010, EMSA evaluated how efficient its network would be. The evaluation looked at nine different spill scenarios. Six scenarios looked at real-life oil spill incidents in EU waters. These scenarios estimated how the outcome of a spill would have been improved if EMSA vessels had been on scene. Three further scenarios were based on hypothetical modeled spills. In particular, the scenarios looked at three areas for improvement. Firstly, whether more pollutant would be recovered. Secondly, whether using EMSA's vessels offered better economic value for the member state. And thirdly, the length of the coastline polluted. The modelled scenarios were based on spills of heavy fuel oil during winter conditions. Variables used in the models included currents, winds, oil weathering and evaporation. Now let's look more closely at one of the modelled scenarios, a spill scenario near the Bulgarian port of Burgas in the Black Sea. The Burgas region is famous for its beaches, lagoons and historical sites. 
Due to a planned oil terminal in the Burgas region, the amount of oil transported through the Black Sea is likely to increase in the coming years. It is expected that as many as 700 tankers will call at Burgas every year. A big oil spill in this area would have extremely negative consequences for the natural environment, for tourism, for fisheries and for the economy. The scenario used meteorological and oceanographic data collected in December 2008. Strong winds were prevailing at the time of the spill. After three days, the oil would have reached the coast, then spread south before finally reaching Turkey. Oil would continue to wash ashore for 18 days without at-sea recovery, and for 12 days if at-sea recovery took place. Up to six EMSA vessels stationed across Europe could have been mobilized in this time. They would have taken between one and nine days to arrive on scene. When oil mixes with water or debris, the volume of pollutant increases. One ton of pollutant recovered at sea can be the equivalent of up to 10 tons of waste on shore. Recovery at sea also reduces the impact of pollution on the coast and in the water, and therefore on coastal and marine ecosystems. For the Burgas scenario, the EMSA vessels could have recovered 21,000 cubic meters of pollutant at sea. This would result in a 40% reduction in the oil polluting the coast. In this animation, we can see how far the oil would spread along the coast. The estimated length of the polluted shoreline is 170 kilometers without and 70 kilometers with EMSA vessels on scene a 60% reduction. The use of EMSA vessels would reduce the economic losses for Bulgaria by about 40%. This was just one of the scenarios developed by EMSA. Looking at the results of the complete study, the impact of EMSA vessels in each case was found to be positive, although this varies considerably depending on the specific cases. There would also be financial benefits from using EMSA vessels. For the real-life scenarios taken from past disasters, estimates were developed for the actual savings which could have been made. Savings were considerable, up to 600 million euros in one of the cases. In the cases analyzed, EMSA would recover between 10% and 60% of the pollutant at sea. With regard to the reduction of polluted coastline, the results show a large variation, with reductions of up to 60%. The conclusions from the analysis are clear. The EMSA network provides an efficient service to member states. Use of EMSA's vessels potentially reduces coastal oil pollution and also the economic, social and environmental costs of an oil spill. Of course, the real value of the vessel network will become apparent in the event of the next major oil spill. We all hope that this will not happen. Yet, the good news is that today, thanks to EMSA, Europe is far better prepared than in the past. Moreover, every euro invested today in prevention and preparation is likely to pay dividends in the event of another oil spill disaster.